God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Landmark Church of Holiness through Christ Outreach Ministry, located at 1523 West Washington Street in South Bend, Indiana, where we preach the gospel without compromise, the unadulterated, unmixed, true gospel of deliverance, reaching out to a dying world, letting you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Set your heart, your mind, your ears to receive this man of God who will show you the way to eternal life. Receive ye him, our pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. God bless you. We would like to invite you to watch us every Sunday afternoon on Facebook Live at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the page of Bishop Thomas H. Willis, Jr. or Evangelist Beverly Willis. If you can, please feel free to join us every Wednesday, every Wednesday night on our Landmark Church Conference Line at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. The number is as follows. 667-770-1378 and the code number is 9412918 again that number is 667-770-1378 and the access code is 9412918 and if your phone carrier for this line charges please hang up and dial 716 9720 and then redial the 667 number and the access code. And our playback number is 667-770-1336. And we also have a Sunday school conference call line every Saturday evening yeah. at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, taught by Evangelist Beverly Willis and missionary Julia Brown. The telephone number is 605-313-5142, and the SS code is 3 and the pound sign. If you are not able to tune in at this time, you can call the playback number, which is 605-313-5153, using the same SS code. And if your phone carrier for this line charges, please hang up and dial the 716 Two nine three nine seven two zero, and then redial the six zero five number and the access code. We are so happy to be able to share what God has put in our hearts and mind, that you may be able to be blessed of God and strengthened in holiness. And now we have prayer by Sister Tiffany Reddy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Glory to your name, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you so much for being here today, oh God. Lord, we thank you for the activity of our limbs and all of the blessings that you've bestowed upon us, oh God. We thank you for an opportunity to gather in person, oh God. We appreciate you, oh God, for your spirit. Lord, we want you to know on this morning that we choose you today. Hallelujah. We're here for you today to worship you. Hallelujah. To honor you and to glorify you. To learn of you, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that you would bless the people that are listening, oh God. In the name of Jesus, those that are in this house and those that are abroad, oh God. Lord, let your word go forth and accomplish what it will. Minister to the people, oh God, what they need in the name of Jesus. Lord, look deep down in situations, oh God, and minister to us in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know all the details. You know all the ugly things. You know all of the things that are hurting us. You know all of the things that are trying to overwhelm us. God, I pray that you would bless us in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would minister in the name of Jesus. Don't let us leave out the same way we came in, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, get yourself the glory. Lord, get yourself the honor. Get yourself the praise, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us leave out of here with strength, oh God. Lord, let the Holy Ghost rise up in us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it happen, oh God, in the name of Jesus, so that we can go out and fight, oh God. We can fight the good fight of faith, oh God. We can overcome, oh God. We can have a good report, a good testimony in the name of Jesus. Lord, we need you on today. We need you on today, God. We need you on today, God. Bless us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, mighty God. You're so good, God. You're so wonderful, God. Yes, oh God. Glory to your name, God. Yes, bless your name. Bless your name, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, oh God. Yes, Lord. So worthy. Yes, you are, Lord. You're so worthy. Oh, we give you praise. Now we have scripture by Brother Tyler Banks. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him a drink. For in so doing, thou shalt reap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. I read for your hearing the 19th through the 21st verse of chapter 12 of Romans. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and obeying of his word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God. And now we'll be... Receiving words from my pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis Jr. Let us be attentive as he come with the word of God. God bless you, Bishop Willis. God bless you. Isn't he worthy of the praise? He's worthy of the glory. Amen. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I die. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I something we just say but we mean it from our heart amen we know who to go to we know how to go to God because we can trust in God to do exceedingly above those things that we even ask or think according to the power that is within us amen are you trusting in God today amen are you leaning on God today Amen. Don't you know that God is there for you regardless of what you're going through? Amen. You, you ain't got to worry about God turning his back on you. Amen. When he, whatever he promised you that he was going to do for you, he's going to do it. Because he is not a man that he shall lie. Neither the son of man that he shall repent. He will make it good. But you got to learn how to trust in the Lord. And then you hear what the songwriter said? Until I die. Amen. That means it got to be ongoing. Yes. Amen. 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 That means there shouldn't be no doubts there. All right. Oh, y'all better come on now. Because right. see, the devil come bring to bring doubt sometimes. Yeah. Well, I don't know whether God's really going to do it. If he said it, it's going to come to pass. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? 
because we know that God knows how to do exceedingly above those things that we even ask or think according to the power that is within us. We got to trust in God no matter what. I don't care how long things that, you, that you're waiting on, that how long you've been waiting. Amen. If you trusted in God, then you have to say to yourself, amen, God's going to do it. God's going to do it. Come on now. God's going to do it. Somebody say, God's going to do it. I know he's going to do it. See, he's hanging hey, God with victory hand praise. I know that God is going to do it. Because God has already done some things for us already. Amen. Amen. He saved us, didn't he? He said he was going to save us. Those that turned to him. And he saved us. He washed us. And God did it. God did it. Amen. One more time, coming into the house of God to worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. I love God. How about you? Amen. Amen. And I don't, I don't love God just because he's able to give me things. Oh, y'all better come on now because some people love God because he'll be able to give you a house or give you a home. That's okay. You know, you can thank God for that. But see, sometimes that's what people's focus is on what God can do for you naturally. But God can do some things for you spiritually, too. Yeah. Hey, come on with me now. I want that more than I want natural things. Not that I don't want the natural things, but I want more of God. I want more of God's joy. I want more of God's peace. I want more of God's love. Because <laughs> God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? I, I want it. I want it. I want it. Amen. And I'm going to keep it. I got it. Just like the Bible said. Amen. I got a little something, something for you today. I, I came across it yesterday. Amen. On, on one of the Videos that we was doing yesterday, amen, Zoom, amen, and I'm going to kind of go across it again a little bit today. Is that all right? Amen, because there might have been somebody that wasn't there able to listen to it. Am I right about it? Amen, but we know that God is a heart fixer, and he's a mind regulator, amen, and when he said he's going to be there for you, he's going to be there for you. People will promise you stuff and then tell and say, I got to change your mind. Oh, y'all, y'all better come on with me now. How many of y'all been there? Somebody told you to say, hey, you know what? Uh, I, I, I'll fix that. I'll fix that for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you this and I'll give you that. And they ain't giving it to you yet. You still waiting on it. Oh, y'all better come on now. But God is true to his word. You can always depend on God. Somebody say, I can depend on God. Amen. Like I said, sometimes you can't depend on the flesh. It all depends on who it is, but nevertheless, amen, I'm looking to the hills. Yes. Who's coming my help? Because I know my help coming from God. Yes. Amen. How many of us know that the Lord is, I'm talking about saints now, uh -huh. them that have gave God their life. Yes. Do you, amen? Yes. How many know that the Lord is our keeper? Yes. Is the Lord your keeper? Yes. He's keeping me. I, I can only speak for myself. Yes. Amen. I don't know what he's doing for you. But when I see the, the fruits of you, amen, coming forth, amen, knowing that God keeping you because of what you're doing, yes, yes. you still live and save. Yes. you still live and sanctified. Yes. you still yielding to God. Yes. And you're allowing God to keep you. That's, yes. that's the only way you're going to be kept if you allow God to keep you. Yes. Y'all better come on with me now. Yes. Yes. Amen. The keeper is a person who manages or looks after something or someone. Is God managing your life? Or are you doing it yourself? Uh-oh. It's kind of quiet. Sometimes people manage you know, their own life. How they want things to be done. And how they want it done. And I, Well, I want it to be done like this. I want it to be done the way God wants it to be done. Amen. In my life. So that I might grow thereby. In, so that I might be, amen, amen have more, more well, power. More anointing. More wisdom in God. The Lord, I'm asking the question, is the Lord our keeper? Is he, is he keeping you? But one thing you got to do too, now you can't put everything on God. You got to keep yourself. Amen. You got to want to be kept. 
So what do you do when you know there's something, that, amen, you've been faced with something, amen, you got to go to God and you ask God to keep you, but you also got to do something. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You also got to put forth an effort. Yes, yes. You got to keep yourself. That means you got to refrain from whatever the devil is trying to do. Oh, y'all better come up with me now. You got to know how to say no to the devil. That's that you keeping yourself along with God. You, why ask God to keep you and you still, amen, you still doing what the devil tell you to do? And you yielding to what the devil wants you to do. You yielding to what folks want you to do and how they want you to live. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. But you can keep yourself with the help of God. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not sinning. I'm not going to lie. Amen. Y'all come on now. I got to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. You can keep yourself. Keep yourself. The Bible even told us in the Old Testament, it told Israel, said, keep yourself from idols. He told them to keep yourself. In other words, amen, when it's being presented to you, you ain't got to do it. You ain't got to bow down to the idols. You ain't got to sin. You can keep yourself. You can say, no, devil, loose shell, devil. No, I am not going to sin. Come on, come on. And God will give you more strength oh, yes, he will. to do it. Yes, he will. Oh, y'all better come on now. Because he see that you're sincere Amen. about being kept. Glory to God. Am I right about Amen. it? Amen. Is God your keeper? Again, a keeper is a person who manages. Do God manage your life? <laughs> do he control your life? Uh oh, it's quiet. Come on. Some people are managing their own life. Mm -hmm. I do what I want to do and how I don't want to do it. And if people don't like it, then you know they you know what they can do. Ah, uh, see, you see, you can't tell God off like that. No, you can't. Uh, sometimes you can tell people off like that, but you can't tell God off. Amen. Because oh, no. you might end up what they call D E A D dead. <laughs> Go on to hell. Amen. Right, right. But he is a keeper. Yes, he is. God is managing my life. You got to let God manage your life every day. Amen. 365 days a year. Yes. 24 hours a day. You got to let God manage your life. Yes. Whether it's natural or spiritual. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes, Amen. You got to stay in place with God. You're asking God. You're getting on your knees and you're saying, God, keep me. But your mind... And your heart is focused on doing wrong. Or it's just too hard making excuses for not doing it. There's a lot of people that are making excuses for not doing it. And then some people say, I can't do it. Not by yourself you can't do it. But if you yield to God, you can do it. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I can do all things. I can do this. I can live holy. I can live sanctified. To the very end, Amen. I don't have to give in to the devil, come on, come on, man. but I got to yield myself yes. to God. Amen. Amen. How many of us know that God will lead you and guide you? That's your keeper. Yes. The keeper will sometimes let you know you're going the wrong route. Amen. Huh? Amen. A real good mother and father let you know, no, I don't do that. That's wrong. Amen. I'm trying to keep you from going to, going to jail. But, you know, you got some people that just like that, just like some people, amen, in the world, they just bullheaded. Uh -huh. They going to do what they want to do. I don't care when, how God going to keep you if you're going to be bullheaded. But the keeper is a person who manages or looks after something or someone or a guardian, a protector, a defender, a God, one who keeps yeah. with your help. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Amen. This thing ain't even on automatic pilot. No, it's not. Huh? Amen. Oh, you can turn on the radio, but you got to turn it on, right? Right. It ain't going to just come on by itself. <laughs> You'd be looking at it if the radio just came on by itself and you didn't turn it on. You'd be going, what's going on there? Uh, huh? Right. Amen. <laughs> so in order to, to be kept, you got to turn, you got to turn it on. You got to, God keep me. Yeah. You got to seek God. God, I need you to keep me. I need you to preserve me. I need you to take me through. I need to go through this. God, this is heavy on me. This, I don't know what to do. And then you got to stand still and let God show you what to do. That's trying. He's helping to keep you. 
But do you want to be kept? Ah, oh, that's a good question. How many of us know that God is a provider? Some people only think God is provided when they give him when they give them natural stuff. But he's more than just a provider giving you natural stuff. A home, a car, and that's good. Come on now. Put shoes on your on your feet and and clothes on your back. That's good. But he also provides strength and power so that you can go through every hour without murmuring and complaining. Oh, y'all better come on. He's a provider. He knows how to provide you with strength. Yes, he does. And providing you with strength is sometimes you got to go to the Bible and you got to study. Yes. <laughs> and you got to read what gives you strength. Yes. Where you can get your power from. We get our power from God, but you got to go to that word. Amen. Come on now. You can't expect. Oh. Look, there's something that you got to put forth an effort to do. Amen. What do you provide, God? Amen. Salvation. Amen. Deliverance. To keep you. I provide that for you. It's there for you, but you got to seek for it. You got to seek for that provision. You got to seek for God to be there for you. He ain't going to let you down. Oh, another one is, he's our what? Strength. How many is God your strength? That's power. Strength is power that comes from God. Give you the give you the the the, uh, the right to, to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, huh? Amen. He'll give you strength. He'll give you power. He'll give you anointing to, to keep yourself, amen, from idols and from people and go, going out into the world and and being like the world and acting like the world. He can keep you. I'm telling you, cause I've been kept over forty some years and I'm still saved. God is still keeping me. Oh, yes. And I'm still saying, God, keep me. Amen. Even though I'm being kept, I'm, God, keep me. Because you don't know what might come, amen, after. You might not come. You might not even know what's going to come later on. Amen. But, God, if this happens, God, I want you to keep me. Yes, yes, amen. Sometimes we see people falling because they didn't go to God. Amen. And sometimes within yourself, you see where I, when, how they fell because they didn't go to God and ask God to keep them. You say, sometimes I say, Lord, keep me. Amen. <laughs> keep me. Because I don't want to fall. Amen. I got to keep going. I got to keep pressing. And God, I need you. <laughs> I don't care nothing about being a bishop. I still ask God to keep me. Huh? Don't you know God will work in your behalf? Yeah. If you're serious about him, and if you really want him, huh? if you really wanted something from the store, what do you do? You go get it. Sometimes you'll ask somebody to go get it for you because you're not capable of doing it. But when it comes down to God, you got to sometimes go to God for yourself. Some, you, can, <laughs> you can't go to, you, sometimes you can ask people to pray for you. And they can pray for you, but you got a lot of time to go to God for yourself. Amen. You got to pray to God for yourself. Amen. Would you, that some people are always depending on people to pray. Would you pray for me? Because I know you can get a prayer through. You mean to tell me you can't get a prayer through? And you're supposed to be saved? Mm. Sanctified. All of us that are saved and sanctified and living the life of holiness ought to be able to get a prayer through. Amen. Amen. Uh-oh. I don't think I can get a prayer through. See, you can't measure your, the, the way you do things with somebody else's, where they do things. Amen. Well, I know you are anointed, and I know you can get a prayer through because God works through them. God can work through you, too. Amen. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Don't sell yourself short. Right now. You can go to God for yourself. Yes, you can ask God. Yes. If we can ask God, you can ask God, too. God, I need deliverance, and God will deliver you. You ain't got to wait till you become a pastor or a bishop or, or an elder or whatnot to talk to God. Yes. God will keep you yes, he will. Yes, in he perfect will. peace. Those whose mind is stayed on who? Stayed on, on God. Amen. God, I need you to keep me. Yes. God, there are times I had to say, God, I need you to keep me in this because I feel it. Sometimes you can feel the struggle of things yes. pressing on you and pulling on you. Do you hear what I'm saying? And you need to go to God sometimes and say, God, and you know what? I need help. Yes. 
He's there. Yes, he, is. he ain't going to give up on you because you need help. Come on now, like some people do. I'm tired of you asking, always asking. God is not like that. I'm tired of you calling me. I'm tired of you praying, praying to me and asking me. No, God never gets tired. He don't faint because you want to be saved. He don't faint because you're going through something and he need to be there for you. Come on now. He'd be glad to do it. But some people will give up on you. They get tired. Why you keep coming to me? Uh-huh. But you can go to God anytime. anytime. You can go to God for yourself. Yes. Yes, you ain't got to wait till sister so-and-so. Yes. You know, I can't pray. Sister so-and-so, she can, she can really pray. You can really pray too. Amen. You just got to learn how to pray. Yes. God will give you what to say. Yes. He'll put words in your mouth and give you what to say and how to say it. And God will work in your favor. Do you hear what I'm saying? I still say you ain't got to be no preacher, no teacher, whatnot. You can be just a laity, and God will be there for you. God will work in your behalf. God is of no respect to person. He don't care. If you, if you need him, he's there. God is there. Somebody say, God is there. Give God a victory hand praise. I know this for a fact that God is our strength. Yeah. Huh? Amen. He's our power. He's our, you know, he's our, he's our nurture with power yeah. and strength to go through. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. And I still say that's not going to be sometimes you're not going to feel it. You ain't gonna, yeah. Sometimes you're going to feel weak. Come on. You're going to feel naturally weak and sometimes you're going to feel spiritually weak. Come on. But don't act weak. Oh, y'all come on now. I, I, just, I just feel like, look, I, I, I just don't feel nothing. I just feel weak. I just feel like I, you, you feel like it. But you ain't got to give in to it. Go to God. God, you know what? This is the way I feel. Talk to God. You can talk to God. God, this is the way I feel. I feel weak. God, I need strength. I need power. I need joy. I need perseverance. God, you can do this for me. But there must first be a willing mind. Come on. Amen. Glory. Amen. Glory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. There must first be what? A willing mind. It's my, I have the will, I have, I have a willing mind to obey whatever God wants yes, me to do. Yes. If I want to make it, if you want, if you want to make it, if you want God to be there for you, you got to obey everything that God instructed you to do. Come on now. Oh, no, I, I ain't doing that. That's why you ain't delivered. All right. That's why you ain't strong. Come on. Huh? Why I got to do all that? Because God said so. Because yes. Yes. God said so. And he wants you to make it. How many of us know that God wants you to make it? Amen. God wants, uh, he would that no man should perish. Amen. So God wants us to make it. Amen. So what kind of God would he be if he turned his back on us when we know he knows we need help from him? We wouldn't be a good father or a mother if we turned our backs on our kids and know that they need help. Right. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Sometimes we, 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 sometimes we, 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 what is the word? Uh, bent over backwards uh-huh. Uh-huh. trying to help somebody. Right. Yes. And sometimes you still don't do no good because they still want to do what they want to do. Right. Right. But it ain't the parents' fault is their fault Amen. because they won't listen. You can't blame it on God because you know you didn't prosper in it. Right, right. What did you didn't do? <laughs> right. Come on. You didn't obey. All right. Amen. When he told you what to do. Amen. Seek ye first yes. the kingdom of God, kingdom of God. and his righteousness. Amen. Are you doing that? You want to be delivered? He got all this stuff set before you. Yes, yes he does. Amen. Being a provider, a keeper, giving you strength. Mm-hmm. Why ain't you got it? What's happening? The reason why you don't feel it. Sometimes, like I said, it's the enemy. Amen. He'll make you feel you doing all that. Now look at you. Because he's trying to wear you out. Don't ever let the devil wear you out. 
I'm going to say that again. Don't let the devil wear you out and wear you down to the point where you turn your back on God. When God is there for you. Do you hear what I'm saying? I know who to go to. I know to go to God. Huh? I was just saying yesterday, amen, that sometimes we go to places that we know that can really help us. Like if we wanted our car fixed, we know what place that we can go to and get our car fixed. And you, when you get it back, it's okay. They have a history <laughs> of, of uh, straightening things out when it come down to your car or straighten things out when it come down to your house. So you go to that person. Sometimes people will try to send you somewhere else, amen, but they can't, they can't do what this other person is doing, doing over here. So you go to them because you have some experience with them. Well, you go to God because I got an experience with God. That's why I go with God because God always been there for me. So I know who to go to. I'm not going to somebody else. I'm not going to somebody that ain't got God in their life. All right. All right. Amen. What can you tell me you ain't got God? What can you do for me? I'm talking about spiritually. Amen. But you know God works. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. I said God works. Yes, he does. God always works. Whatever he do, it's going to come out victorious. Amen. Come on now. You're going to come out victorious. Yes. You're going to come out strong. Yes. You're going to come out healthy. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm a living witness of that. God is also our heart fixer. Yes. <laughs> I, don't call, I don't care what's going on in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit. God knows how to fix everything. Every yes. situation, he's a heart fixer. I just can't sleep, and I just can't. My mind is steady. My, it's steady on my mind, and I can't hardly sleep. God is a heart fixer, yes. baby. He knows how to change things. Yes, he does. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Because <laughs> yes, he, he did it for me. He's a heart fixer. Things that was, amen, that was fixed in my mind and in my heart, God changed it. God helped me. I, I didn't have to lose any more sleep because uh, God fixed it for me. Yes, Amen. The center, the inner man of you, the heart, the mind. God knows how to fix that. Is there anything, can, 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 I, can I say this? Is there anything too hard for God? Nothing. Are you sure? Nothing. But evangelist, then why is somebody acting like? Why are people acting like God is, you know, is a booger bear? Why are they acting like God can't be there for them? Come on. But let me ask you this too. If you want God to be there for you, why ain't you there for God? Come on. Come on now. Come on. That seems like it's one-sided. Mm -hmm. You want God to fix things for you. You want God to do things for you. But what are you doing for God? Uh-oh. <laughs> are you presenting yourself to God? Huh? Come on. As a living sacrifice. Are you really showing God that you need deliverance and that you need strength and that you need to be strong and putting forth an effort? God's got to see that. Amen. He, amen. he don't want to hear about, you know, well, you know, I, I thought about it and, you know, it wasn't no big thing. Well, God can say that too. If you say it ain't no big thing, right. he, he ain't going to worry about it. You're not worried about it. But God is there for us. Don't you know God helps the sinners too? Yes, he does. Right. Amen. Yes, he does. It's not all about sanctified folks. Some, some, sinners, some sinners go to God for help. Right. And God will help them. But you know why he do it? He let them know that he's God Amen. and that he can work in their behalf. Yes. Yes. Not so they can stay in sin. Amen. Amen. But God will let you know. Where were you? Remember the time? Sometimes you bring things to your remembrance. Remember the time when you was on your deathbed and you called on me and you wasn't saying then and you called out on Jesus. You called out towards Jesus. You called out towards me and said, God, help me. And I, I helped you. Got you up out of that bed. Now you're walking. Now you're talking. And now what do you do? What you do? You go back to the world. How do you think God feel about that? How do you think a mother and a father feel when you do all you can so that your child can prosper and they do just the opposite? Right. Right. That don't
don't make you feel good. When you do just the opposite of what God wants you to do, that don't make him feel good. But how many of us know that we can make God happy too? Oh, yeah. When was the last time you made God happy? <laughs> Come on now. When was the last time God was proud of you? <laughs> when was the last time God spoke to you and told you, well done? Thou good and faithful servant. Huh? Ah, oh yeah, he's still the keeper. Amen. He's still the provider. He still give you strength. Oh, yeah. What was done years ago, God is still doing. Yeah. God hasn't lost any power. No, he hasn't. Amen. Or has he? No, sir. God's got all power. When he said, let there be, even the devil got to behave. When the devil said, leave him alone, he's got to behave. All right. Yes, he's got to behave. When he said, leave him alone, get your hands off of him, he's got to behave. And he will behave. Yes, sir. Because God spoke it. Amen. In your behalf. Huh? Amen. Some people got some natural power like that. When your boss tell you don't do something, you don't, you don't do it, do you? The, 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 right. Your boss tell you don't do it. You ain't gonna do it unless you lose your job. That's power. See. That's natural power. Yeah. Telling you, even the devils tremble when they hear God's voice. Amen. They tremble. Huh? Amen. That's how much power God got. Mm -hmm. He can make the devils tremble. Huh? Amen. That's the kind of God I want to serve. Amen. That's the kind of God I want to leave, live for. I thought about the word keep too. And keep is to hold, to retain in one's power or possession. When I said something earlier about keeping your, keeping, keeping your life, keeping yourself unspotted from the world, you can do that too with God's help. That means that you're holding on to God. Yes, amen. You're not giving up. I don't care what the devil say. And there's a lot of people that said that, Evangelist. I don't care what the devil said. He can, he can do this and he can do that. You better watch what you're saying. Amen. You definitely got to, because see, are you there? Because you know what? Talk is cheap. Yes, but are you really there? I don't care what the devil say. Then why are you out in the world? Why are you on your way out in the world? But to keep is to hold. I got to I gotta hold. I got to stand still. I got to hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. I don't care if you got to put both your arms around God. I don't care if you got to do everything. <laughs> if you got to hold him with your feet, hold him with your feet, your hands, whatever you got to do. Amen. I ain't talking about naturally. I'm talking about taking a full hold of God. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to God. I'm not going to let you go until you bless my soul. You know who said that, don't you? <laughs> Amen. Huh? But I'm not going to let you go. That's the way you got to be. I'm not going to let God go. But you got to let the devil go. It's to hold, retain in one's power or possession. God gave you power. That means you got to stay there. You got to, and then you got to build it up. You know, you got to build. Don't you know how sometimes people, you can, you, you can build up fire. By putting more stuff on it, more uh, wood on it, it gets greater and greater. Amen. So the more you put into giving to God and, and doing for God and, 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 and living for God, the more power you get. Because you, add, oh, come on, the Holy Ghost, you adding on to it. You adding on to it. Not natural wood, but more of the spirit of God. You adding on to it. So your power is getting greater and greater in God. Say it, say it now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I know I'm talking right. To hold, to retain one's power. Not to lose 
or part with, that means you ain't giving up. Where's your power? Oh, I lost it. I don't know what I did with it. You gave it over to the devil. You gave in to the devil. That's why you ain't got no power. You started listening to folks. You started listening to other preachers and other teachers that's not teaching you right and not telling you right and not telling, turning you from sin. Mm -hmm. And they telling you, you, I sin, you sin. And he telling you, I sin, you sin, everybody sin. Come on. Got you thinking that you can sin and still go to heaven. Right, right. right. But hey, I got to hold on to that which is good. <laughs> holiness is still right. Amen. Holiness is still something that we need to hold on to. That's right, that's right. To retain, to keep. Amen. Not to lose or apart with or from. Mm -hmm. To hold on or restrain from. Depart from. But you want to detain. Or to detain. To maintain. Hold, keep is also to maintain. Yes, to maintain, to continue, and not hinder. But to hinder unto God so you won't <laughs> give up. Huh? I'm just giving you some definitions. What is a keeper? Did I read that one? Yes, sir. Okay. A provider is one that provides. Do God provide? I'm going to ask the question again. Do God provide? Yes. Amen. Are you sure God provides? Amen. In many ways, God provides. Yes. Naturally and spiritually. Amen. Now, he will not provide you with things that's going to take you out in the world. That's right. He's not that kind of provider. Amen. If you want to go out in the world, then the devil provides that. <laughs> when you want to stay in God you got to go to God and he will provide yes. he will keep you but if you want to go out in the world then you got to listen to the devil you ain't got to but a lot of people do you remember the time when they used to say years ago and I don't know whether y'all remember and they made fun of it and even put them on their t-shirts you remember this evangelist said they used to have it, and they were proud of it. The devil made me do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. That ain't nothing to laugh about. Amen. That wasn't nothing that you should pr promote. That's right. That's right. Amen. That was sending you to hell. Amen. It wasn't sending you to heaven. The devil made me do it. And a lot of people were proud of that, too. And sometimes they'll turn their back around and say, the devil made me do it. And, because, <laughs> and laugh. that ain't nothing funny. The devil is sending you to hell and you laughing about it. Amen, amen. Ain't nothing the devil do is <laughs> beneficial that's right, that's right. for you. Amen. Again, I'm going to say, there's nothing that the devil can do that is beneficial for you. Amen. But the, and, Come on now. Because he's sending you to hell. That's right. He know he ain't got too much time. His time is coming. Now, I read off some of the things, and God is much, much more. I said, the Lord is our keeper, our provider, our strength, and that is those that want strength, that want God's strength. Everything on here is you got to want it. A hard fixer, you got to want to be fixed. It was quiet there. You got to want to be fixed. Well, I, yesterday I wanted to, I wanted to God to do something, something, but you know, I ain't too sure now. See, the devil will put doubt in your mind. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you, I'm not sure, so sure whether I want to live for God now. I, I'm not so sure whether I want to keep on pressing. How is God gonna work on your behalf if you're not really sure about what you want God to do? You got to let God know that you're serious about what he wants you to do for you. Mm -hmm. It's beneficial for you. God is already in heaven. Huh? Say that. Right. Say that. You trying to get to heaven. Amen. Right. Amen. So I go to God because I want to get to heaven. I don't want to go to hell. I want to get to heaven. So who am I going to go to? God. Amen. 
God knows how to fix it. God knows how to change me. And he will change you if you want to be changed. Still, it's on you. You got to make the decision. So I asked the question. So if we know that God is all this, a keeper, a provider, a person that gives you strength, and he's a hard fixer, and mind regulate. And you know when God regulates your mind, he put things in order, in the, in the, in the right, there's no confusion there. He, he fix your mind where you where you at peace. Come on now. Whether you're happy with God. He know how to regulate. He's a mind regulator. He know how to put things in order. But you got to let God do it. Submit yourself unto God. Are you submitting yourself unto God? Ask yourself. I, 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 I still feel, you know, that it ain't happening for you. Are you submitting yourself? Are you saying yes with sincerity? Because just saying yes doesn't mean it's going to happen if you're not saying it with sincerity. Amen. God, I'll obey. Regulator, someone or somebody or something that brings things under control. God knows how to bring whatever you're going, going through un, under control. If you can't hardly sleep. He knows, he knows how to give you sweet sleep. Yes. He know how to take that thing away where you can lay down with sweet sleep and not worry no more. How many of us have worried so much and so, and so long until you finally made up in your mind, I'm going to stop worrying, I'm going to go to God and let God fix it. Amen, amen. That doesn't mean that you're not going to be concerned about some things. But you should not let it worry you to the point where you stop coming to church. Because you trying to fix it down. Flesh trying to fix it. Baby, if I was you, you listen to somebody. Baby, if I was you, I'd do this. And if I was you, see, the thing about it is, <laughs> you're not me. And I'm not you. I'm me. So I'm going to do what God wants me to do. In order to succeed Amen. in life, in God. What is worry or worries? I'm just giving you some definitions now before I go into some scriptures. I'm not going to be with you long. Worry or worry is give way to anxiety or unease. You're giving in to it. Now all you do is just worry about it. Why ain't this happening how come this? Don't you know that sometimes things are not happening in your life because it's your fault? Mm -hmm. All right. You did some things that you know you shouldn't have done. You shouldn't have done. Come on now. Amen. Sometimes you wasn't even in the dark in it, but you was just hard headed. You wanted to do it anyway, regardless of what somebody said. Mm -hmm. You can't look at other people and say, "Well, if they made it and they did it like that, see, that ain't you." God might have had mercy on them, Amen. but he might not have mercy on you. Come on. You might have to suffer the consequences. They might suffer the consequences later if they stay there. Oh, y'all better come on with me now. Amen. But we just worry, worry. Don't you know the devil wants you to worry? Because he don't want you to trust in God. He don't want you to believe that God is there for you. Huh? Where? And he'll even talk to you and say, where God now? He's still there. Amen. He's still standing back looking. Seeing sometimes what you're going to do. He already know what you're going to do. But it's going to be brought to fruition. What, what you going to do with this? What you going to do with this problem? What you going to do with this? Are you going to let me do it? Or are you going to take it over? All right. So many people are taking things over from God. Just took, just took it right on out of God's hands. You gave it to God, and then you took it out. Come on. What kind of thing is that? If you're going to give it to God, give it to God. Amen. He's not going to force you to let him keep it. Mm -mm. Is he? No, no, no. Sometimes we be saying, I ain't going to make you do nothing. Right. I'm just going to tell you. Just like we preach, we preach, we don't try to make anybody do anything. It's up to you. Yeah. 
is your decision to obey or not obey. So if you go to hell, it ain't my fault. I told you what to do. It was up to you to grab hold to it and hold on to it. But if you let it go and you go to hell, don't blame it on the preacher. Sometimes I think people blame it on God because, you know, they let it go. They stop doing what they're supposed to do. They stop seeking God and say, where was God then? Still there waiting on you to, right. to do what you're supposed to do, Amen. to hold on, Amen. to pray. Yeah. Sometimes you got to fast. Amen. Sometimes you got to put this flesh <laughs> yes, yes. under subjection Amen. to the spirit of God. Sometimes Amen. you got to fast and pray. It works. Oh. Somebody say, it works. Because God knows how to break the yokes. Because the Bible says, and the anointed shall come. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody said that too. All right. To break the yokes. Yes. Glory to and because of the anointing, yes. because of the power of God, yes. he knows how to break that yoke. Yes, he yes. he knows how to set you free. Amen. But you got to really want to be free. He's a keeper. <laughs> right. Again, that's if you want to be kept. Amen. Ask yourself that, kept, that question. Do you really want God to keep you? Do you really want to be saved? Or oh, are you studying making excuses? Well, 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 see, you can't even hardly get it out. Well, 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 you see, see, see. God letting you know then. Your mind ain't made up. You got to have a made up mind. Amen. How many know I'm right? Amen. A lot of us now that are sitting here that are saved and going through trials and tribulations, we had to have a made up mind. Yes. We had to have it, have it made up in our mind that we was going to live holy yes. no matter what. No matter what. Amen. That's easy to say. But it's got to be done. Because don't you know the devil will hear you saying, no matter what. I ain't giving up God. How many people didn't testify that? I ain't giving up God, saints, uh, no matter what. Next thing you know, two weeks later, they done gone out in the world. Come on now. Because you didn't continue to do what you were supposed to do. Depend on God. To seek ye first the kingdom of God. To rely on God. Amen. To be there for you. Because I told you he'll never leave you. Never. But you leave in God. Then some people got the got the the gall to say, God left me. He ain't gonna stick around if you don't want him. Come on now. You don't wanna live look, if my children don't wanna live with me, bye. I ain't gonna try to make them stay. And they grown? Amen. <laughs> hey, if you want to go, go ahead. And whenever you come to your senses and whatnot and want to come back, you're more than welcome. But you got to obey. Same way with God. You really, want, you really want me? You really want me to be there for you? You got to obey. Somebody ain't gonna like this message. It's still right. Amen. It's still right. But you want God to fix it. God said, lay aside every weight, yes. every yes. sin. Yes. What does so easily beset you? And run this race, what? With patience. With patience. So you gotta obey. If you don't obey, whose fault is it? You can't blame it, blame it on God. You gotta obey. I gotta obey. What did God tell you? Come on now, sometimes we remind our kids, we remind people, what did I tell you to do? That's why it's not working for you. <laughs> How many of us know we can depend on God? Yes, 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 yes. This is easy for us to sing. I can depend on God. I can depend on him. Oh, I can depend on I can depend on him. Ooh, I can depend on I can depend. Can he really depend? Can you really depend on God? Yeah, you can. But some people act like they can't. 
I'm really depending on God oh, yeah. to work in my behalf. Oh, and because I want him to work in my behalf, I'm going to do what I'm told to do. That's right. And that's to obey God. And lay aside, laying aside every weight and every sin would thus so easily beset me. Take a hold of you. I'm hoping I'm helping somebody. I looked up the word rock too because some of the scriptures that I have have rock in it. And it says rock is used in the scriptures as a metaphor. Signifying strength. Steadfastness and durability. Can I can can I say that again? Rock is you because he's rock. He's our rock. He's our rock, our sword, our shield. He's a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Come on now, isn't he all that? And he's more. <laughs> Somebody say he's more. What we got down here is just just a little bit of. But it's so much that God is. But a rock is used in the scripture as a metaphor. Signifying strength. I can lean on God. And he won't pull himself out from under me. To let you fall. So he can laugh at you. He ain't that kind of God. He wants you. How many know God wants you to make it? I said, God wants you to make it. Amen. God wants you to go to heaven. That's why he prepared a way. Amen. That's why he sent Jesus. Amen. He prepared a way for us. Now it's up to us to receive it. Right. Come on now. Amen. So did I finish that? Okay. Now let's go to. Did I finish worry or worries? I think I did it, but I didn't finish it. Is worry or worries is to give way to anxiety or uneasy or unease. Allow one's mind to dwell on difficulties or trouble. That's all you're thinking about. Your mind is set on difficulties. I'm going through this and and I'm going through that and and I'm in trouble, but you ain't got to stay in trouble. You ain't got to continue in difficulties. Amen. How many, again, I'm asked the question, how many of us know that God is a deliverer? Yes, he is. Amen. God knows how to take those troubles away. Yes, he, does. he will, but you got to give God a chance to work in your behalf. Mm -hmm. It's not sometimes always presto change, oh, and God's going to do it right then and there. He's going to jump for you just because you said it. Amen. Some people want God to jump for them as soon as he said it. But sometimes God will try you to see how sincere you are. To see whether you really want to be delivered, that you really want him to help you, you really want him to be there for you. Come on now, he will try you. Somebody prophesied to me one day, say you're going through certain things because God is trying you. But at the end, you're going to come out victorious. Somebody prophesied that to us, didn't he? Amen. Amen. We never seen him in our life. And God told them to speak that to us. You're going through some things. But God told me to tell y'all. <laughs> it's for the trying of your faith. But after a while, God's going to do it. And I still believe in that. It's been over two years since somebody told me that. But I'm still waiting on the promise of God. I still haven't given up on God. I still know that God is there for me. I'm still preaching God's word. I'm still living God's word. I'm still running for my life. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. 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 No matter what. No matter what. I like that board back there that said that that shall come will come and it will not. What? Terry. When God get ready to pour it out on you, he's going to pour it out. Yes, yes. Huh? Amen. But you can't have your mouth all poked out. Right. You know how some people get their mouth because they didn't get their way. Right. They have their mouth. My parents used to say, boy, you better put it in. Or I'll put it in for you. And you know what that meant. I'll backhand you. <laughs> Straighten that face up. Come on now, you thought you was going to change mama and daddy, didn't you? 
And mom say, uh-huh, yeah, keep on pouting. I'll give you something to pout about. God will give you something to pout about, too. Yeah, you're right. You keep waiting until you decide you want to give in to God and let God work it out. Okay, I've said these two scriptures. I'm going to say it again. Yes, I'm, you know, I'm repeating it. Psalms 18, 2, and 3. What did it say, Evangelist? You got that? Amen. Psalms 18, 2 to 3. Amen. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is. Is he your rock? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I explained rock, didn't I? Amen. It's used as a met metaphor. He's my strength. Yes, hallelujah. He's my power. Amen. I can stand on him. Hallelujah. He, he, he's there for me all the yes. time. Amen. The Lord is my rock. Mm -hmm. And my what? And my fortress. What is that? Amen. Fortress is, a, is something that's place of security yes. that you can go to. You can go to God for a place of security. Amen. Yes. What is the word I'm, I'm trying to get to again? Uh, My deliverer? No, I was going to, yeah, he's your rock. Mm-hmm. Your rock. The Lord is my rock mm -hmm. and my fortress. So we were talking about fortress, a place of security. Yes. A place where you can go to as a stronghold. He'll yes. stand up for you. Amen. Yes. He's got a stronghold on you. He's your fortress. He'll protect you from your enemy. Amen. He'll fortify you. Amen. Yes, he He'll will. He'll put you in a fortified place where can't nobody get at you. See? Right. Come on now. Amen. He'll put you in a place of safety. Hallelujah. Yes. Where yes, the enemy is looking for you, he can't find you. Yes. Hallelujah. He Thank can't you, get all to you. Thank God. you, Jesus. Boy. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. That's in the scripture. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. Yeah. And not only that, he's my what? My the, deliverer. My deliverer. Hallelujah. He can deliver yes, you. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. How many of y'all God has delivered? Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Has God ever delivered oh, you? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. God has delivered me many times. Amen. Out of trouble. Yes. Amen. And some of them troubles, I did it. I yes. brought it upon myself, and God delivered me from it when I called on Thank it. Thank you, Jesus. God is all that. Amen. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God. My strength. And whom will I trust? Who are we going to trust in? Mm -hmm. God. Amen. That's what the psalmist said. He said, he was, the Lord is my rock. He was explaining, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God. My strength. He's my strength. And whom will I trust? He's my buckler. He'll protect me. Hallelujah. Yeah, God. He'll fight. Don't you know God will fight for you? Yes, he will. Oh, yes. I had some people that went... <laughs> When I was younger, they would fight for me. Mm -hmm. If somebody was messing, messing with me, all I had to do was tell them, and they would fight for me. Mm -hmm. They would protect me. Come on. But let me tell you what happened. The very time that I thought this person was going to protect me and be there for me, that was the time that they wasn't. Mm -hmm. all right. All right. But let me tell you what kind of wisdom they had. I used to have to run home from school all the time because this one bully used to always mess with me. And I always called on my brother, my oldest brother. And my oldest brother, he would stand up there and he'll, you know, he'll say some things and that guy would, wouldn't bother me no more. He was protecting me. But then there was a time I said, so he, he keep messing with me and he won't say something. He said, boy, let me tell you something. You're going to have to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to let them know that you can't be a pushover. Mm -hmm. right. I was scared. He stood back and said, fight that boy. <laughs> Sometimes God will stand back. He's there for you. But he want to see how much you're going to do. Mm -hmm. how, how willing you are to fight for God. Huh? Come on. Yeah, you're right. God will teach you to fight. I was one that was always scared to fight because I always felt like I was going to get beat up. But he said, I ain't doing that. You're going to have to learn how. Because see, that was going to be a time he wasn't going to be around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He said, fight that boy. He said, if you don't fight him, you're going to have to fight me. My brother was... <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want to fight Amen. my Because my brother can fight, boy. Mm-hmm. And I thought about that. <laughs> See, I write, I'd rather fight the devil than fight God. Amen. Amen. Did y'all hear what I said? Amen. I'd rather fight the devil than That's to fight God. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. What happened? I finally, I, I, I was scared because I know that my brother could fight. I'm going, oh, man, I don't want to fight my brother. So, you know, he. <laughs> Sister, I, I put my dukes up and I began to start fighting. And you know what? I won. <laughs> I got the victory. See? That boy did not bother me anymore. Come on. And on my way to the grocery store, I had to pass his home. He was all beat up. I ain't whooping too good, too bad. You know, at least I didn't think so. And on my way to the store, my mother was sending me to the store, and I had to walk past his house. And he was standing out on the front porch with his mother. And his mother saw that he was into a fight and he got beat up. So when he, when I walked past, she said, there he is, mom. That's the one that she said, you mean to tell me you let that little runt beat you up? Boy, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> when you get to school, the next thing you see, parents will egg you on to do mm-hmm, stuff too. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they could be the cause of you mm-hmm, getting beat mm-hmm, up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When you get to school, the next day, you better have some some rings around his eyes, and you better be doing this. And, and, he, and he, oh man, I heard her saying, "Oh, this was a parent telling mm-hmm. her child to do that." How you know? I mean, how many of y'all know the devil get you in trouble? Oh yeah, <laughs> the devil will tell you to do certain things, mm-hmm. but it's gonna get you in trouble. The next day, I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I. I how, oh, man, I was kind of like discombobulated because I said, oh, no, don't tell me. I got to fight this guy again. But you know what I did? I went on to school anyway. I didn't want to face that guy. And I was saying to myself, I was saying, man, I don't want to face him. I don't want to go through this fight again. I don't want to do this, and I don't want to do that. You know what happened? That guy came out of the school. And he looked down at me. And this is the honest truth, I'll tell you. When he looked at me, he grabbed my hand and said, we, go, we okay, we good. Mm-hmm. He didn't even want to fight me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You see how God worked that yes, out for me? Yes, yes, Amen. His mom told him to fight me, and mm-hmm. I better know, I better see that he peed up just like you. Mm-hmm. But when he came, he shook my hand and said, man, I don't know why I started fighting you in the first place. He said, I ain't going to do nothing. I don't know whether he told his mother, but God will fight for you. Yes, God will touch somebody's heart Amen. to let you know. Yep. Leave him alone. Hallelujah. God will do it. Yes, he will. I remember that from, that, from that day and forth how God fought in my behalf. Mm-hmm. At that time, I didn't understand. Amen. But I understand now that God has sent somebody to fight for you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Huh? Sometimes God will tell you, sometimes God will send somebody to tell that person, leave him alone. Mm-hmm. Leave him alone. Amen. And you ain't never seen that person before. You never asked them to do it. But God put it in their heart. Amen. To do it. Am I right about Amen. it? Amen. Amen. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength. And whom will I trust? Who else am I going to trust in? He's all this. Amen. In whom will I trust? My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Look Mm -hmm. about, look at this. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be. Isn't he worthy to be praised? Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Is God really worthy to be praised? Amen. He's keeping Amen. you. He's preserving you. He's keeping you from. Thank you, Jesus. Come on now. Yes. From the enemy, over, enemy overtaking you. Yes. Amen. Even in your sleep. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. 
Uh, he's protecting you sometimes. He's protecting God. us while we're in our yes, sleep. Yes, amen. 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 Glory to God. I know that for a fact. Psalms. Did we finish that evangelist? No. Third verse. Mm -hmm. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. I will. So uh -huh. shall I be saved from mine enemies. How many of y'all are calling upon the Lord? Come on. Are you really oh calling on God. the Lord? I will call. He said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy. He is. <laughs> to be praised. Yes, he is. Amen. He's worthy to be recognized. Mm -hmm. To give the glory to. Huh? Amen. To lift up, to lift up. To praise him, to glorify him. Shall I be what? So, so shall, shall I be saved from mine enemies. God will deliver you from your enemies. Mm -hmm. I don't care who your enemies are. Amen. Sometimes you ain't got to open your mouth and say, God, get them. Huh? Because the Bible even told us to pray for our enemies. Amen. When you pray for your enemies and you do it in sincerity, God will fight for you. Oh, yes. Amen. You don't have to lift a hand. You don't have to curse nobody out. No, you don't. No, you don't. Come on now. Mm -mm. You ain't got to wait until 12 o'clock. Until, you know, I'll wait, get them later. But God will work it out in your behalf. Amen. What the Psalms 27, 1 through 2? The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. He's Whom my shall I fear? He's my deliverer. He's my salvation. He will deliver you. He will mm -hmm. save you mm -hmm. from trouble. Amen. Whom shall I fear? Yes, amen. Huh? Hallelujah. If I'm going to fear anybody, I'm going to fear God. Come on. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to fear what people Say may do that. to me. Say that. Say that now. Naturally, you might fear some things, but Come God on. knows how to overcome that fear. Yes, he does. Am Thank I right about Jesus. it? You ain't got to keep looking out the window. <laughs> Amen. God knows how to fight for you. Yes, he does. God not, might know how to, God knows how to send them on their way. Yes, he does. Amen. And you ain't never, what happened to so-and-so, so-and-so? I don't know, child. The next thing I know, they were gone. How many of y'all were glad when you heard that? They were gone. <laughs> I know I was glad with my enemy. <laughs> That's deliverance. That's deliverance. <laughs> the Lord is the strength of what? The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is the strength. God yeah. is the strength. He's my power. Mm -hmm. The strength of my life. Uh huh. Of whom shall I be afraid? Shall I be afraid of the devil? No. I told y'all. Amen. I think I might have said it earlier today, but the devil said, oh, I'm going to get you. Mm -hmm. How do you get afraid? You got to know how to talk back to the devil. Mm -hmm. right. Huh? Don't be shaking. Uh huh. Amen. When mine enemies, I'm sorry, when the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. So David had a lot of people that he had to contend mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but God was always there. For yes, him. yes, yes, yes. How many know that David was always victorious? Come on. When he obeyed God. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. And fell. Even when Egypt tried to come upon them, what happened? Yes, yes. God opened God, up the sea. Yes, he did. And swallowed them up and all of them come died. On. Amen. God fought for them. They yes, didn't have to did. do nothing but obey. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Glory Sometimes to you God. just got to stand still. Thank you, Jesus. And see the salvation of the Lord. You yes, might not understand well, all the time what God is doing, but God knows what he's doing. Yes, he does. And you'll see at the end what God was doing or was trying to show you. Mm -hmm. And they began to walk across the sea, amen, victoriously. Yes, amen. Praising and glorifying God. All right now. But at first, they were murmuring and complaining. Mm -hmm. You brought us out here to die. Uh -huh. And you brought us out here, at least when we was in Egypt, we did such uh -huh. and such. They started looking back. Right. You can't look back. Amen, yes. amen. You got to look forward. Yes. Right, amen. Hallelujah. You want to get somewhere with God, you got to look forward. Amen. 
You got to look to the hills. Yes, hallelujah. For which cometh your help, knowing that your help cometh from God. Let's go to one more. Almost. Did we finish that? Yes. Seven through eight. The Lord is the strength and my shield. Uh -huh. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. Therefore, will I greatly rejoice, and with my song will I praise, praise him. him. Huh? Something we got we got something to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. How many times God has delivered us from our enemies? Amen. Delivered us, amen, from out of the hands of the enemy. Trying to take a hold of us. Even on your job. Sometimes things happen on your job where people try to stir up stuff mm -hmm. and they want to fire you, but God made them leave you alone. All right. Didn't you glorify God for that? Amen. I would have. I would have said, thank you, Jesus. Amen. The Lord is their strength. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And he is the saving strength of his anointing. And he is the saving strength of his anointing. Mm -hmm. God will work for you. Oh, yes. My brother.